guys welcome back to my channel welcome back for a brand new video so for today's video i am so freaking excited because i am going to be finally filming a full face of tiktok shop makeup now i've been wanting to film this video fully for like the past few weeks i've been waiting for stuff to come and today is finally the day if you don't know what tiktok shop is where the frick have you been actually makeup brands have been selling their beauty products on there and they've been going for usually cheaper than they would on their normal websites and products have been blowing up like i've got some of the most hyped tiktok shop makeup products here with me now and i am so excited to try them out for you guys today so i really do hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and yeah let's just get into it i've just gone on and put this inky list vitamin c serum on my face I am now an SPF girl. I feel like I've always known that SPF is like meant to go on your face all the time But you know, it's one of them things. It's just like, oh, no, it's okay And then I've seen so much stuff on TikTok about like how good SPF is for your face aging and wrinkles and stuff So you gal, she's an SPF girl. I have ordered the La Roche-Posay SPF cream It's on look fantastic, but it hasn't come yet I've been waiting a few weeks for that. I will pop it on the screen. I do have this other one from La Roche-Posay. I'm not exactly sure all the ins and outs of this cream, but again, it is like an SPF 50 face cream. So I'm going to apply this today. If you haven't already, just get on the SPF hype. Like, trust me, you'll probably thank me in like 20 years. <laughs> we do not want wrinkles. We want beautiful skin. Like, I want to be 50 years old and have like the most beautiful skin ever. I've got a couple breakouts, which are very cute. I've literally come on my period, like full bam she's here today and the cramping is not the vibe the skin is not looking cute but we move now for primer i've actually got my first beauty crop product i've been seeing this all over tiktok i'm so excited i really want to try some more bits from the brand so if you have tried some stuff then let me know down below but i have got the vitamin babe brightening primer here someone please let me know if this is actually normal because why is it i was so confused like why is mine like literal liquid it's genuinely like runny water. Is it meant to be like that? I was sent it to Shannon. I was like, I am confused. Is this normal? So let me know. It's got vitamin C and orange extracts in, but I've seen loads of people rave about all of these primers. I'm just so, I don't think it's meant to be like, it's literally like someone's put water in a tube. But I mean, we will see how this goes on the face. I try and be, if I do this, it's gonna run completely down, isn't it? Like when I do this, it just does not look cute. Oh my God, right. I do prefer more of a like watery based primer compared to like a thick, like a really thick one. To be fair, she has gone onto my skin nicely and she is, she's tacky. I feel like I'm glowing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking at myself. I think she's glowing. So you all know I was a soap gal through and through for literally years. And then I really, then I discovered the Got To Be Glued brow gel, like literally maybe like a month ago. I have been loving it, but there is something about this pink honey brow set thing that I have been just loving watch people do their brows like with this on TikTok. So we're going to do my brows with this stuff today. I'm intrigued. I'm excited. So I actually got the full set. We have got the pink honey like honey pot thing, the pencil and also the powder. So we're going to try this out. I'm scared. I hope this doesn't take me hours because you all know my brows when I used to do soap brows used to take me literal hours so we can test out this does come with a spoolie oh my god i saw tiktoks about people saying it smells incredible wow it smells insane it also does have like a little hole for you to put your spoolie in which i love i'm kind of scared so we need to activate it to use my setting spray i've seen people just activate the spoolie so let's try that i'm kind of scared i hope that this goes well just gonna swirl it around the pot get some product on it then i'm just gonna run it through my brows okay i've picked up a little bit more product This is how one brow is looking compared to this one. I really like it. It's definitely not as much like residue as there is with soap brows. If you do soap brows, then you'll kind of know what I mean. My brows smell like 10 freaking 10. However, it's not like a major difference to soap brows for me, if you know what I mean. As I've just done the second brow, it is actually a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot easier to apply than with soap. And it's just so handy having it in this little pot. So I definitely love that. I'm gonna go in with the Wonder Whip pencil. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. And it is double-ended, so you've got a spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other. This is my favorite kind of pencil. It's super, super thin. I don't actually know if I'm gonna use the powder today, but my brows genuinely just need kind of like a light fill in. I'm hoping that this shade is kind of the right vibe. Oh, I literally love that. I'm sorry. I'm actually obsessed with these. What the hell? Having a good brow day. And that actually didn't take me that long. I should have timed it, shouldn't I? Foundation. I have actually, believe it or not, gone for a proper full coverage foundation today. As you will all know, that's very unlike me. I don't even know the last time I've done a full coverage foundation moment, but here we are. So... I'm putting this to the test because this has been all over my For You page and I've been dying to try it. It is the Be Perfect Chrome Cover Foundation. 
this has been extremely hyped up it is a matte foundation this is meant to be the full coverage she's here she's bam she's going out tonight so i got this in the shade w5 i'm hoping praying that it matches me i mean it's a bougie freaking packaging situation yeah this is what the foundation bottle looks like let's try her out let's put her to the test it is a pump moment so let's just see if we can get something out of this this is not a great start the pump doesn't work guys it's an L. i'm just gonna unscrew the lid she's thick <laughs> i'm gonna just i'm just gonna go for it and just put some on my face and just hope that the shade is kind of all right i don't actually know how much of this to put on i'm gonna be using my dose of lashes at sponge which again is super hyped up on tiktok shop because it is the best sponge ever i think that's actually a pretty good shade match let's try and blend this out and see oh my god i don't think i've put on a foundation this full coverage in a while she may be a little light but we can darken it up i'm actually looking like casper the friendly ghost maybe you could have literally just done with like a shade up from this but i mean it's fine we can work with it i'm actually so impressed it's literally like covering up all of my spots you can't see any redness to be fair the shade isn't actually that bad if you're looking for a full coverage foundation then choose your one like look at my skin guys it's looks flawless she is a full coverage glam it's actually really glowing on me like if i was going to an event and wanted to be like bam she's here she's in the room this is going to be the foundation i'm going to reach for don't know if this is just me but i feel like she's kind of oxidized a bit and has got a little bit darker i could be wrong but i do think that she's oxidizing a little bit and i'm not mad at that at all the concealer again this is probably one of the most tiktok hyped concealers ever and that is the hmb soft focus flawless airbrush concealer and i've got this in the shade 2.5 w i do also have this in 3 w just to kind of cover up any spots but the foundation's already done half the work today so i'm just going to go in with this under my eyes i really do love this concealer there is just something about it that i prefer over the elf one honestly gives the most flawless under eye i think i've ever seen it feels so weird seeing me with this full coverage glam i'm like who is she because i i can't recognize her right now she is literally full i can't like i genuinely have not done this full coverage of a look in a while oh, i'm kind of here for it i kind of love it but i do like i am like wanting bronzer on my face right now so bad and i actually there has been quite a few bronzing products i've wanted to pick up on tiktok shop which have all still to this day been sold out that is the only product i've not really been able to get for this video so sorry about that but i am gonna do still a super hyped up bronzer which is the refi bronzer which i mean we can all agree she is an unreal bronzer and she's like a, i nearly dropped her and she is still super hyped she is well loved in my makeup routine and i'm just gonna apply that on my refi brush what have i just done i've honestly just got so carried away there am i okay right that is way too much on my brush. I also love to take the bronzer like in my eyelids as well. All then products as well have blended in with the foundation so nicely. I am buzzing. Oh my God, stop it. I'm actually so impressed. Because I really thought I was going to absolutely hate that foundation, but wow. At the moment though, I don't know if I'm really getting like proper matte vibes from the foundation. Maybe I should have left it for a little bit longer to... You know what I mean? Like, do its madness. Cream blush. Or shall I say blush? You all know where I'm going with this one. Actually, I don't freaking know what one I am going to use because I've actually got... I think I'm not going to be able to hold them in my hands. I've got six blushes. Don't ask me how I've ended up this many. Well, actually, no, I do know. I ordered three, like, ages ago from Made by Mitchell just to get, like, the three set. And then they came and then I ordered the mystery box. And then I also got three in the mystery box. And I've got some beautiful like when i tell you beautiful blushes i used a shy boy yesterday and i'm sorry it is incredible i've seen like made by mitchell speak about this one quite a lot also got cherry cola here sweet cheeks posy rosy like i've got so lucky with all the shades that i've got i got the blush dream strawberry cream which apparently everyone says everyone finds it like so hard to get so maybe do we try this one out today look how beautiful i really 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 loved a shy boy when i used this yesterday i don't know what to go for i really don't know what to do i've honestly just been really debating do i try this one out but i really loved a shy boy when i used it yesterday but do i want to try something different do you know what it is is because everyone's like really hyped this one up like i said it's always sold out but it just it does just scare me like it is like a bit of a bright pink it does look unreal but do you know what i mean like that that scares me a bit i'm gonna save this one i am gonna try it at some point but not today i feel like because this is more of a full glam moment 
I've got like a lip routine that I want to do and I feel like this will match that look better. I'm just going to pop some on my cheek and then blend it out with a brush. Like when I tell you this shade is actually beautiful, I cannot get over it. 110% recommend these and getting them on TikTok shop. They are so cheap. I think Made by Mitchell was doing like six of these for like £17. So it's like £2 or something each. I'm going to blend it out with this brush. I might have gone a bit overboard, but it's fine. I definitely went overboard. I'm just going to try and blend it out even more with a sponge just to try and like eliminate some of that colour because I went a bit crazy. I actually haven't tried it with a brush before, keeping it real. I usually just go in with a sponge, so... Okay, that's a bit better. So for powder, I finally got my hands on the HB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. And I've got this in Translucent just because as much as I wanted to pick like a colour based powder, I just thought, you know what? Don't risk it, like getting the wrong shade. So I went for Translucent. And then of course, I've got a powder puff. Now the Trigwell Cosmetics powder puffs when I ordered were all sold out. So I just got these little dupe ones, which I tried it out yesterday just to kind of see how they'd go. And they went really well. I really do want to try the Trigwell Cosmetics ones, but considering I got these for literally like two for six pounds, I'm impressed. Obviously today we have got more of a like full coverage, bam, glam, she's here foundation like and base so i'm interested to see how like the powder puff and the powder works with that if you haven't tried the powder puff yet though you need to because it's the best so let's do a little like comparison it just applies the powder so well and it's so much more precise actually cannot get over oh, the powder with this makes your base look it's insane look at the difference i'm fully freaking speechless like i cannot get over that difference She's insane. Like that Holly Bean powder. Oh my god, chef's kiss. This look, by the way, today, because it's so full coverage, is kind of giving me like makeup artist vibes. You know when you always see like the makeup artist makeup and you're like, that's insane. Like this is what this look is giving me. I'm just going to use this to kind of like chisel out my cheekbones. This is a flawless queen moment. I have just gone in with my MAC Give Me Some Bronzer because like I say, I didn't actually have a bronzer to use. Now we're going to go in for eyeshadow. So I've actually got the Jordana T-shirt, New Divinity palette. Again, super hyped up on TikTok shop. This palette jaw to the floor how incredible it is literally the perfect new palette ever i'm actually going to use the shade divinity here and run that through my crease shadows are super pigmented i'm going to go in with this shade here it's called g-a-i-i-a i don't know how you say that g-a-i-a that's what it's a gaia gaia i'm just going to run that a bit more closer to my outer corner when was the last time you guys saw me do eyeshadow, by the way? It has been a minute. I am going to keep this simple and not do anything too crazy. So I'm going to go in with the shade Empress, which is this like whitey with a pink undertone. This is the most pigmented like white eyeshadow ever. I'm just going to kind of pack that in on like my inner corner. Look at the colour on that. I was so impressed with the payoff of that shade. And of course, no eyeshadow look is complete without a brown wing. So I'm going to use the shade Aphrodite. Of course, for lashes, would we expect anything less? We're going to be putting on my Dose of Lashes, Baddie Lashes, which are again super TikTok hyped. You guys know I hype these up. I've hyped them up for probably way over a year now. They're actually chef's kiss, the best lashes ever. Nothing compares. Of course, I have to put these on today so i'm gonna quickly pop them off camera and then i'll be back i actually don't think i'll ever not be blown away with these lashes i have set my face using my favorite set and spray because i'm not invested in a new one because i didn't buy this one like that long ago and it is a full version of the charlotte tilbury set and spray so as we all know this isn't exactly the cheapest and i love her so much i don't actually think anything can compare to this for me personally at the moment so for my lip routine i actually have purchased my first ever p louise makeup product which is so exciting i actually got the nude lip kit i put this on my lips yesterday it is the most perfect the most me lip kit ever i didn't think i was gonna love it as much as i do i'm gonna show you guys how i apply it today I'm not ready this is the trio you need in your life the lip pencil is in the shade coco clout in case you just wanted to purchase this on its own it's like a really it is quite a dark kind of brown shade which i was a bit scared of at first once i've outlined my lips i do just like to blend it a little bit with my finger you're going to be going in with the p louise lip base and this is in the shade semi nude i have never like used anything like this before in my life so i was so intrigued this is insane it is so pigmented i just put a little bit on and blend it out with my finger because like i say I put way too much on yesterday and she literally is the most pigmented thing ever. Then we're going to finish off with the gloss, which I'm actually not too sure what shade it's in. It doesn't actually say. Sorry, how insane. It is the perfect lip combo. I literally love it. So this is actually the finished makeup look. Let me take my hair out. So this is the finished look and kind of like the finished makeup look. I am... 
obsessed. I feel like I've said that so many times throughout this video, but like you can actually trust some of what TikTok shop sells because I have not been disappointed with like a single one of these products. It feels weird having a full face glam, but I'm kind of here for it. I'm obsessed. Make sure to go and head over to my TikTok if you want to go and purchase any of the pieces I use today. And I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video.